Stepping in, Ken Griffey Jr. He went Leading deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and a base hit there is Junior's aboard. So the base hit puts the first man aboard to start the inning for the Mariners. Well, they put up a lot of uh, runs the whole game, and the game plan to right me is fielder. simple. They've been aggressive. They've hit the first pitch like he does right here and gets the base hit, and they've done it throughout the whole game. It's been very successful with their game plan. Ready for another shot now. Mitch Hanniger. He flew out in his last at bat. Runners on the move for second. Grounded to the right. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, I don't know if it was a run and hit map or a hit and run, but you do know this. They're trying to get ahead the first in the count. Five, so it's going to be around the plate that Ray first pitch. Freeman. I love putting the hit and run on or the run and hit, but either way, they executed it perfectly. And now they're set up first and third. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Line drive to center field. And that's going to get down out there. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Oh, they're playing small ball this inning, Matt. Back to back to back singles. Joel Kuhn. Spin and a throw back to second, just keeping him float. In now, Joel Koo dribbled to the right side. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. The catcher, number Here now is Mike Zanino. Mike On the night, Zanino. he's two for four with a pair of singles. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. That's a nice pitch. A fastball in that jams him. And now you go back outside. You know he's got to protect inside. You go back outside to try to get the out. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here it comes 0 and 2 and a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. The speedy Trey well, Turner in digs seven, in now. He push. was retired via the Trey ground ball Turner. last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. And the second run will score as well. When that ball's hit to the outfield right there, I didn't think they were going to send him because he's got such a great arm. But clearly he got home before the throw got there. That's a great play. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. On attempt misses. The throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Gregorius will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Ninth inning coming up. The M's lead it 15 to nothing. Ready to start the ninth as we get a stunning shot there of the Seattle skyline on a great night for baseball. Digging in, Roberto. To Hayda. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. 
It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The right fielder, number 30. Ready for another chance. Bob, Bob Borders. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Indians down to their final out now. And that'll bring up the first baseman, Paul Canerco. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. This game might be over for all intents and purposes, but somebody Better forgot to tell it. this guy. He's a grinder, and he's going to approach every at-bat like it's his last. Does it again here and delivers a double into the gap. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Conerco rounds the corner and is headed home. The runner scores from second, and he will pull into second with an RBI double. Well, he was almost out of the now inning. Then the last two batters Second showed him eight. that you can't lose Pedro focus on the mound, Guevara. even if you get two quick outs. Back-to-back -back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. Into the box, Pedro Guevara popped up. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 15 to 1 is the final. Seattle win their 80th in their home ballpark. Noah Syndergaard records win number 33 as he struck out 13 in this one. Sonny Gray struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time for the ball game. Four hours and 29 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.